Hello and welcome to our redesign update for the September Hot Topic series. We're excited to kick off the 2021-2022 school year and we're glad to have you join us for our brief conversation today. So let's jump right in. For our September Hot Topic, we want to focus in on the improvement phase of data analysis. Dr. Nguyen-Swander provided an update and overview of the work happening to improve our school accreditation model, KISA, and so we wanted to go one step further and show you how you can jump right in to engaging in this process using existing data and redesign tools. If you have not watched Dr. Nguyen-Swander's presentation, we would encourage you to do so, so as to provide more clarity and context to this hot topic. As we dig into data analysis, we encourage you to analyze three elements, student performance, stakeholder perception on key school elements, and your organizational context and culture. While there is a lot we could look at as it relates to performance, perception, and culture, we want to just walk through three easy to access tools that are right at your fingertips that you can review to start the year and start your data analysis phase of continuous growth and improvement. To start, we will talk about student performance. One place you can start is by examining your school or district accountability report curated by KSDE. You can access it by clicking on the link here or you can also access it by going to ksde.org and clicking on the large accountability report icon on the right hand side of the page. After you access your building or system report, we encourage you to engage in an initial data analysis. Attached to this slide, you will find a 15 minute data dive template that can be used for quick reviews of data, but it can also be used over a longer period of time for more extensive reports and conversations. This data dive walks you through five simple questions. What parts of this data catch your attention? What good news is there to celebrate? What areas are in need of growth? What changes could you make to solicit growth? And what are your key conclusions or takeaways? You're welcome to use other data protocols, but we believe this activity will get you on track in kicking off your data analysis. Next, Jay is going to talk with you about unpacking some perception data. So thank you, Sarah. Another data dive you can take is to use the redesign success rubric. This was developed in January of this year, and it's really to identify the perceptions in your building, your current state in these six competencies in redesign. This redesign success rubric is really cut from the same cloth of the navigating change guidance with competencies and then associated rubrics. A cross organizational group developed this rubric and it's based on the six most key competencies a school must address as they redesign. You can see those listed here. I'll also mention that if you have these slides, you can click on that redesign success rubric image and will take you directly to the redesign success rubric. Here are some reasons to use this rubric. It can help reignite your school's redesign effort by reviewing progress to this point and then help your team to visualize where you want to go. It can also serve as a pre-assessment and a post-assessment of progress each year or semester. The results are an excellent way to communicate progress in redesign with all stakeholders, including your staff, your board of education, and your families and community. And lastly, it outlines what competence looks like in each of the critical areas of redesign, which should provide further clarity, direction, and purpose. This tool allows your team to turn the abstract into concrete. Thanks, Jay. So now I want to remind everyone about culture. And so John Gordon says, culture isn't just one thing, it's everything. It's not just one person, it's everyone. Everyone on the team creates culture. It's your culture. Own it. Make it great. And there is no better way to start a school year than to um, be intentional about building culture. We know from the education research that schools with a positive learning culture provide safety, 
support, encouragement, and healthy challenges for students and staff. This in turn fosters student academic achievement and growth. Positive school cultures increase staff satisfaction, morale, and effectiveness while simultaneously increasing learning, fulfillment, and the well-being for all students. In other words, um, culture really is everything. And I think we all know that after the last 18 months, as we've been trying to respond to COVID in the school situation, that um, culture may have taken a hit. Um, that's because it's been very, very stressful and there have been a lot of changes. Um, teacher collective efficacy has decreased as teachers have maybe felt like they didn't know how to meet the needs of their students during this time. So as we face this upcoming school year, 21-22, um, let's take a minute to um, review what it means to have a positive learning culture. Um, you should have your culture surveys from last spring. Please take a look at those. If you have access to these slides in the notes section, we have a link to a toolkit. So you can customize your focus on your learning culture based off of your uh, assessment or survey from last spring and really target those areas that maybe need shored up for this upcoming school year. Um, there are also some other resources available in the slides, so feel free to explore those as you set to make this year the best learning year possible. And so moving forward, as you're thinking about how we're kicking off this school year, um, start with where are we now? And um, where you are now might be completely different than where you were a year ago um, in September or even two years ago. So be really honest, where are we now? And then start thinking about where are we in relation to our vision? Um, know where you stand in terms of student performance and success. Know where you stand as it relates to the structure of your system and your overall process. And know where you are um, and where you stand when it comes to a culture focused on learning. Thank you so much for staying with us to the very end. Um, the first 10 people to email us at um, redesign at ksde.org will receive a small prize and a token of our appreciation. Thanks so much. Here's to a great school year.